Alright, hey guys, Cole here. Welcome back to the video. So, uh, if you remember the last video, I showed off Half's uh, Fortnite porting add-on, which automatically imported Fortnite skins in like under a minute. Uh, basically, that got a new update, and now you can do automatic IK rigs. So, I'm going to show you how to use that as well as add them to your Fortnite skins using the Fortnite porting add-on. So, the first thing to do is make sure your Fortnite porting add-on is already fully updated, and then you'll see this button right here use Tasty Rig. Click right there, and now you just want to type the name of the skin you want to do. Uh, for me, I'll just do the Tony skin because that one's new and he looks kind of cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and press export. All right, once that's done, I'm going to go to import, and right here I'm going to find Tony, and I'm going to press accept, and I'm going to press import. All right, and now if we zoom in over here, I'll close out of this panel right here by pressing N, we have a fully IK rigged model. Now, if you don't know what IK rigging stands for inverse kinematics, basically it makes it easier to pose models and stuff because it's a different type of rigging. Instead of using individual bones, you can control a whole section of the rig using one bone, or this would be considered a rig controller, not really a bone. So here's how you use it. First, you wanna click on the IK rig and then press control tab to go into edit mode. So instead of controlling your rigs in normal way like you would with bones, you wanna find certain bones for example, the hand bone is now how you control the arm. So as you can see, we have the IK hand selected. And now we're going to just move it like this. Check this out. It'll be a little less laggy if I go into solid view here. We can see this a little bit better. As you can see, I'm controlling the whole arm with one bone. And yeah, of course, if you move it a little bit weirdly, it's going to distort. But this makes it a lot easier to like pose certain parts of the rig. Uh, same thing with the other hand, we can move it just like this and it'll control the whole arm. And of course, you know, the hands rotated weirdly, so we can just rotate that and you can see it's like this now. So super easy to control the arms. Same thing for the legs. All you want to do is select the feet, which are just going to be right here, and we can move it just like this. The feet are a little bit weirder in my opinion. They're going to like distort like this and start going all weird looking, but... Yeah, this makes it so much easier to move bones around and all that. Uh, another one, you can select the entire pelvis and just move him down like this. So if you want to get him into a crouched position really quickly, you can just go like this and then of course make some adjustments here and there. Another one you can do is use this eye control right here and you can move both the eyes just like this. So basically the eyes will be aiming towards wherever this is aiming. So you see we have it partially over to the side and now he's looking to the side. This looks really creepy, but yeah, that makes it a lot easier to control the eyes and they look a lot more natural if you use the rig like this. And then you've probably noticed these little bones on the side here. You can use these to rotate the whole arm just like this. Same one for the other side. And then we have some on the legs over here. You can just use these to rotate the legs just like that. And yeah, that's basically the IK rig. You can use this on most skins. I noticed there's a few skins that kind of make it not work correctly and they look a little bit weird. But besides those, this is gonna work on most skins. And I recommend doing this. If you're making a full scene, this is gonna make your whole process of posing these skins so much easier. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.